Hey everybody, welcome on back, and we're going to talk about the subsection related to indenting code. Uh, one quick note, I have decided to start adding a bunch of code samples to our vocab list. Uh, it seems like, especially for the first uh, chapter, that didn't really make a lot of sense. Most of the code was like, hey, here's the number four, or hey, here's a value called false. But now that we're actually starting to get into some of the structure of code going on here, um, I'm going to paste the code in here uh, to include in this example. So one of the things we're going to do first is we're going to clean up a little bit of this. And by clean up, I mean that you see how line 34 is all one line. And if I start extending this over, it'll you know, try to put it all on one line. One of the things that it doesn't do is line 37 appears to be its own line, which is not really the way that we would want to structure code like that. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to adjust these so that they're all nice and on uh, even lines. And that seems to be the only offending cases. Cool. So uh, keeping these code snippets around might also be a good idea. The same way that defining a while loop is not really that useful, having an example of a while loop is very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You'll also notice that the prompts actually come out in the uh, console over here, um, as opposed to, um, uh, you know, on this one when we run the prompts, it, it you know, outputs basically like right here because it's interacting with the browser. On Replit, it's something about the way that it sort of uh, compartmentalizes that or it puts prompt into a, uh, you know, like a console interaction mechanism. But not, not to worry. <clears throat> so we're going to continue to do that for useful examples and also useful definitions. So let's keep going. In the examples, I've been adding spaces in front of statements that are part of some larger statement. These spaces are not required. The computer will accept the program just fine without them. In fact, even the line breaks in programs are optional. You could write a program as a single long line if you felt like it. Uh, when you get to something called minified code, which is basically trying to provide your uh, environment with a, the smallest possible version of a library or another series of code you're going to make use of, um, it'll be minified and a lot of times it'll even be in one line. So you'll see that at some point. The role of this indentation inside blocks is to make the structure of the code stand out. In code where new blocks are opened inside other blocks, it can become hard to see where one block ends and another begins. With proper indentation, the visual shape of a program corresponds to the shape of the blocks inside it. I like to use two spaces for every open block, but tastes differ. Some people use four spaces and some people use tab characters. The important thing is that each new block adds the same amount of space. <clears throat> I would say that this is the most important statement in that entire uh, you know, paragraph. Uh, consistency is usually much more important than how many spaces you use to indent. And uh, let's have a look at this real quick. This is what they mean. Lines 73 and 74 are considered to be subordinate or hierarchically subordinate to the while loop. If the while loop doesn't fire, this isn't going to operate. Now you can see that were we to continually uh, indent randomly, we're not going to be able to ascertain the structure of this code as easily as we would if it's uh, nice and lined up and consistent. The other major issue for this is that during an interview that you might take when trying to approach a boot camp or a job <clears throat> or something similar, uh, if you are missing a, a, a curly brace here and you don't always line up your curly braces below where you begin your curly braces, uh, you might end up in a situation where uh, you're unable to find which curly brace you're missing because let's say this would all be wrapped in something else, it might be difficult if everything is just like, like that. And we have to try to figure out up here somewhere where each one of these correspond to, as opposed to giving ourselves a little bit of a hint by having the code structured properly. <clears throat> if false is not equal to true, seems reasonable. Console.log, that makes sense. And inside of that, if one is less than two, console.log, no surprise there. So we're gonna run this, that makes sense, no surprise there. Uh, yeah, I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not exactly sure that this is worth putting anything into our uh, definition list, um, except maybe something like, we'll say like code indentation, uh, say indenting code, consistent indentation is a very good, very, is a good habit to get into. Although if we were writing this properly, I think it's like a good habit into which to get. Into which to get. Yeah, but I don't really know how to write English all that properly, so we're gonna go back with what we said initially. Consistent in identation. Consistent 
indentation. Also, the other thing, uh, this is apropos of nothing, but if you're looking for a code editor, uh, you know, Atom, Sublime, uh, Brackets, VS Code, if you can find one with a spell checker, you're going to have a better time than if you have one without a spell checker. Just throwing that out there. Sublime doesn't, I think Atom does, so um, a VS Code probably does as well. And I would have to imagine with most code editors, there's usually an add-on or a plugin you can get. But if all of that makes no sense, don't worry about it. It'll come up yeah, here you go. Most code editor programs, including the one in this book, will help you automatically indenting new lines by the proper amount. So what they mean by that is if I hit enter right here, it wants me to start typing here, which is properly indented, which is nice. Uh, and that's it for this subsection. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.